So science has a big impact on society, but few people understand the languages it's written in. If you take a random paper and hand it to someone, most people would see gibberish instead. And this includes most scientists. Science is made up of hundreds of thousands of research topics, each with its own specialized language. This specialization is necessary for progress. We're not saying it needs to change, but there is something missing from the conversation. Because of this, there are walls between science and the public, leading to dangerous misunderstandings. There are walls between different fields of science, which prevent scientists from making novel connections, the source of creativity. Finally, and ironically, for those who do understand a given paper, there's often not enough detail for them to immediately follow up on the work. A given academic paper can only cover a certain research topic at a certain level of detail. And science is stuck communicating at one level of detail only. Meanwhile, policy and mass media communicate at a higher level with broader views and less detail. And the actual work of science happens down here with raw data, source code, logbooks, etc. So my group works on building tools to enhance science communication and collaboration. This is one that's in beta that allows scientists to work on papers collaboratively. They can write equations using the syntax they already know, but see the results instantly. They can discuss in the paper itself, and they can write it together in real time. While this helps scientists collaborate more efficiently, it's also a platform, a base from which we can start to add layers to the scientific conversation. For instance, we're currently working on adding, letting scientists add raw data, oops, missing slide, add raw data source code directly to the document itself. So another scientist would be able to come in, look, get the details they need without having to redo this work and focus on adding something new. This expands the conversation down into the details, but the bigger challenge we're working on is to seamlessly navigate up into layers of overview and synthesis, and it's here that we need your idea and input. If we succeed in adding this new dimension to science, we'd be speeding up progress by giving scientists the data they need, when they need it, where they need it, We'd also be creating bridges between different disciplines, leading to creative solutions to difficult problems. Finally, these layers of summary and analysis provide stepping stones of clarity between, from the primary research up to the general public, to leaders and policymakers. So who would provide this analysis? It's science, oops, science already has its uh, great explainers who can take a field or a subfield and explain it clearly to others. There are also the synthesizers who can distill the conversation and tell people clearly what's in consensus and what's in debate. And finally, there are the visionaries who can see where a field is going and what research is worth doing. None of these people currently have a direct voice within the scientific literature. We hope to give them that voice, and in doing so, tear down the walls that are holding science back. Thank you. Um, anyways, I found it really interesting because I could imagine it being some freeware that would really help a lot of scientists, so that's great. My question was more, how do you build up to the policy level? How do you actually build those stepping stones of clarity? Do you have that part of the project too? Well, no, that's the, that's the part that's very, very hard to do. Mm -hmm. Because uh, currently the way science papers organize, it's, uh, there's the citation like flow backwards in time and so on, but there's nothing that allows you to group a certain set of papers and say, okay, this uh, overview paper refers to all of these papers below it. And not only that, but it also has to change with time because for instance, if some new result comes in that says, okay, now this is in debate, then that paper on top of it has to change. So there's many ideas, especially from open source software that can be applied to these kind of documents so that they change with time so that other people can edit them as well. And so that the changes can encompass a given field. But right now, those details, that's the really hard part, and that's what we're working on. So if anybody has any ideas about any of this, please come talk to me afterwards. Thank you. <laughs>